internet. Uh, Scott Pell here, Young Geek, aka Shenmue guy. <laughs> I can't believe that's still a thing. Anyhow, so hello, how's everyone doing? I'm doing just great, and I want to talk about uh, ratings, uh, like uh, E, T, M, so forth. Uh, this has nothing to do with anything relevant, but it's just something that came to mind one sleepless night, and I've often heard the argument for from some people uh, that games would be better if it would like be rated M or something of the sort, something to that extent. Like, oh, if this game was rated M, it'd be so much better. And that doesn't make sense to me. Like, that they, they were considering that in, as a factor of the quality of game. That doesn't make much sense to me. Um... I mean, like, there there are certain contexts where, uh, like, a mature setting can work and can work very well. But at the same time, like, it isn't necessary to make a game high quality, to make it entertaining. It's, I mean, that, that rating is there not as a stamp of quality, but as, you know, just, just a heads up. A warning label is what it is, more or less. And, uh... <laughs> Yeah, it, it doesn't make it doesn't make it good. <laughs> I mean, I've probably talked about Uncharted two a number of times on this vlog and on my blog and on the podcast as well. But Uncharted two, really fantastic game, rated teen. Um, there are, you know, there's cursing, there's blood, and there's violence, but like, it's nothing that is overtly edgy and mature, and you know, it, it's nothing like that. It's not it's not like Mortal Kombat or or something of the sort. I, I think that, like, it pertains to... At least, ah, pre, at least it should pertain to the world and the characters. You shouldn't just have it in there to, like, cross a line or something like that. that that's what Grand Theft Auto does. And Grand Theft Auto, like, for as popular of a game as it is, like, the quality of it, the storytelling, the characters, it's just flat. And it's just... It's boring. And honestly, like, it's just... It is. It is really boring. Like, it doesn't do anything for me because it's just so low-brow. It's just like, hey, we're offensive, and sure, great. That's stupid, honestly. It, it's not It's not intelligent. Um, if you do have a mature-rated game, like, it has to fit within the context, I feel, like, to make, to make like, a mature story. At the same time, uh, it, it really doesn't because, of, like, if you look at a game like Saints Row. Hilarious games, not serious at all, but the mature content is there because of the characters. It, it, it all fits. It's cohesive. Like, <laughs> in Saints Row 4, your character becomes the President of the United States, and there are strippers and, and, and people doing coke, because that's the character. They are thugs, they are gangsters, and that's just how they roll. It's ridiculous, but it's a part of their character. So, yeah. A mature rating doesn't mean that it's going to be good. A mature rating doesn't mean that it's going to be smart. A mature rating doesn't mean that it's going to be... Yeah, something quality. So, with that said, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please like and comment on this video. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Uh, check us out on iTunes, our podcast. Me and Steven Johnson talk about video games and whatever. Uh, check... Check out my blog. I'm still writing about E3, so that's still fun to do. Um, Twitch, yes. <laughs> still doing Twitch uh, every day from 2 to 6 Eastern Time. So you can check me out there. Links will all be down in the description. So have a great day.